Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Scythe Digital Edition. This is a digital board game that, uh, or this is a digital version of a real life board game. Uh, one of the all time top rated board games, super strategic. And uh, I'm showing the fact that I'm still fairly new and to this, and I've made, I'm sure already, two fairly significant strategic mistakes. We'll see how much that comes to bite us in the ass as we continue forward. Um, hi, this is a contractually required call to action to remind you to check the links down in the description box. It is my turn now. We have a newly built mech over here and uh, we are eager to start moving. So that's in fact what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a move action here. I'm gonna grab this mech and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this worker and the wood onto this mech. Mechs can transport resources and people. And I'm gonna cross the river into this mountain tile. So you can see I can move here, here, or here. I can't cross this way because my river walking ability is just to river walk into villages or mountains. So I can cross over here. Done. We unload the goods there. And then my character also gets the river walking ability as a bonus um, when we unlock the mech stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna be walking towards this encounter token over here. That's gonna be my goal. So we'll do that. Excellent, that's the end of the turn because we don't have enough wood to go and build a building. Um, but we're going to be able to reach our maximum number of mechs very quickly at the start of this game, um, which I like. It's, it's a little unfortunate that we haven't gotten any oil yet. Actually, I wonder if we just rushed towards the factory. Interesting. Now, one thing we haven't looked at yet is what our secret objective cards are. We have, uh, we have two available. These are random. They change every time. Everyone's got someone different, something different. We can only complete one of them for a star. Uh, if you're playing a Saxony, you can complete both and gain two stars from it. So number one, achieve tactical mastery, have eight or more combat cards in your hand and at least one combat victory star. Okay, that's actually should be relatively easy to do. Population advantage, if we control at least three village territories by the end of our turn. That, well, we've got one right now. We actually, there's a village here and one here and here. It might be a little awkward. It might be possible, but it's a little on the awkward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a produce action for two reasons. One, um, I want some resources. And two, I have enough metal right now to build another mech. So we're going to want that. So I'm going to go ahead and produce. I'm going to produce here. We've got one worker. It's going to produce one metal. And over here, we have two workers in the village, which means we're going to produce two more workers. Now, what this will do is this actually, you see how we had the little meeples over here, the little worker symbols? We're uncovering extra cost. From now on, whenever we take the produce action, I will have to spend one military power to, to do this. If I go and build one more meeple, it will uncover the popularity. So it'll actually cost me a popularity to use this action. And if everything is uncovered, it'll also cost me a gold every time. On the plus side, having more workers on the board means that you produce more stuff per action. So it, you know, it turns out to be somewhat okay. That being said, I suspect we might keep around, we might stick around with these five workers for now. Anyway, we can build another mech, which we will do so. Now, I think I'm gonna deploy the mech here because it's gonna be much easier to move my villagers in bulk off of this tile if I can load them onto a mech to do so. Uh, I can actually see us doing a move where we grab everyone into the mech, we move up here so that they're ready to start making a ton of wood so we can start putting down some buildings. Uh, in any case, I need to spend some metal. I'm gonna grab one, two, three metal off of this tile. We'll unlock another ability. Um, speed is probably what we wanna do here. It's really, really nice uh, that we can move an extra hex per tile, really valuable. Um, we'll, we'll Eventually we'll get all of them for sure, but we're gonna do this which is going to be great. We also get some money for building a mech for some reason. I'm, I'm okay with that though. And we'll go ahead and end this turn. That's going to be fine. So mechs let you move things around more efficiently. They also let you control more territory because if they just stand in a tile, then you control that tile. But also we can get into fights. We can fight with our character card. We can fight with mechs. Doo -doo -doo. So they're doing some enlist actions and things. It would be really nice to get our enlist going. We're also going to want to start doing some, um, um, some upgrading soon. We need oil for that. We can get a bunch of people onto the tundra tile. That might actually be kind of nice. We can do that. Hmm. We can actually do that next turn. Uh, I'm kind of eager to consider that. We'll talk about what these recruit bonuses are and things very soon. So, I mean, I can't produce. We could trade for oil, but I think, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do a move. We're going to start with this mech. 
And I'm going to load everyone on it, which means we're not going to be sitting around in this town. That's okay. I'm going to move to here. Now, when we move, we unload everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everyone except one. I'm going to leave one person in the forest just to keep control. Oh, yeah, I can't cross over that way. Control it so that we can build a building. There's other ways to do that. And the worker's a little useless. We could always come back. Hang on. Let me, let me rethink this. We still want to do a move, because one of the things is I have the, the plus one speed, which applies to my character, which means I can run into the factory. Um, the factory tile is worth three territory at the end of the game, um, which is nice. Yeah, there's also the um, the encounter, but no. Uh, we're going to do this. Not only is it worth points if you control it in the game, which may or may not be what we're looking for, but it will give us an extra action, which is going to be hugely valuable. So the question is, what do I do with all these dudes? I could drop one over here in the wood, or I could just double move onto the oil and start to unlock some much better upgrades. And I think I really like that. Do I want to leave someone behind? I don't know. I think we just grab everyone. And we just double move over to the oil. And the next turn we can produce an oil and one metal. Uh, which might be a little waste of a produce. Okay, here's what we want to do. We want to land here. I want to leave two dudes here. The reason is, next turn when we produce, that'll give us two metal, which will be enough to produce another mech. And then the rest of the dude, these three, we're going to transport over to the tundra here so that we can start producing oil. Now, because I ended my turn in the factory tile, I get to pick a factory card. So each one of these actions are interesting. Um, they all have a top action where you spend a thing to get a thing. For example, we can spend popularity to either get a mech or a building. Interesting. We could consider building all of our buildings just fueled by popularity. And never have to worry about collecting wood. That being said, it's fairly easy. Upgrading this card here is going to be a super high priority for us. We want to be able to move three units per action instead of just one. And then we'll knock off one wood cost down here as part of the upgrade procedure, probably, and make building buildings really inexpensive. Uh, we could get mechs and things over here with money, but that's not really a problem either. Here, spend a trade good to get one combat card and two military power. That's kind of nice. This is spend two different resources to either do a recruit or do an upgrade. I mean, for the recruit, it's not bad because it costs us four food right now to recruit. We actually have a really poor recruit action. Um, so there's, they're all strong. The all other thing they have as a bonus, um, their bottom action is move one unit two times. And that's not two squares. That's two different moves. We have the plus one speed. So we'd be able to move um, a one unit like four tiles, which lets our hero move around really fast and pick up all of the encounter cards really nicely, which is one of the reasons this is really nice. Um, I think we might pick this to be able to spend two resources so instead of spending four food, or later on upgrading all this to get the two food, we can spend any two resources, as long as they don't match, to do a recruit. And we could consider doing that for some of our upgrades too. All right, you know what, I'll do it. I don't know if it's the best, I have no idea, everything's hard and complicated, uh, but there it is. That was our move. We don't have the wood to take this bottom part, so that's the end of our turn. You are trading for some more resources, getting some oil going. And you're using the oil to do an upgrade action. <laughs> I think we'll fast forward through these moves here. Now you're getting you're getting a fair bit of uh, popularity, aren't you? Eh, not that much. I would love to do some uh, recruits soon, so that we can start getting these passive recruit bonuses. So the way the recruit it works, if you take this recruit action, um, which we can do cheaper now than before, uh, you unlock, basically, you put a little token on one of these four spots over here on the bottom card. And whenever one of your neighbors, so for us, that's going to be either Saxony or the Norse, um, take the bottom action that you have a little token on, you get something free, either a free coin, a free popularity, etc., etc. It's really nice. The earlier you do it, the better. But th that's kind of true about everything, right? The earlier you do thing, the better. Um, I think... Our plan here was to do a production. 
which will let us build a mech and also have enough oil to do an upgrade next turn. So I think that's what we're going to produce. I'm going to get two metal, which will be enough for a mech. Three oil over here, which will be enough for an upgrade on the next turn if we do it that way. Um, although technically, instead of spending three oil, we could spend two different resources, like an oil and something else, to do that. And that might be the sort of thing we do, because we do have one food uh, sitting around somewhere. We have... Oh, no, that's wood. Never mind. So, a uh, wood plus an oil, for example, for an upgrade might be much more efficient. Um, although, at some point, we are going to have to go and get our buildings down. Still, we're going to do this for now. We'll deploy a mech. Uh, one, two, three metal. I'm going to unlock Submerge. Between Riverwalk and Speed and Submerge, we'll be able to basically teleport the board around the board at this point. Uh, camaraderie will come later on. Normally, yeah, you lose popularity if you, like, go and beat up some workers and things like that, which we're not going to do. Um... Gathering more oil is not as critical as it might otherwise be. We're still going to want to build a building over here. I'm thinking what we do is we get ready to move out of here. We get ready to grab all these people and leave this zone. We can focus on other things like getting a bunch of wood. So I'm going to deploy a mech here just that we have more ability to move out here. We might want to go and beat up some people over here, something like that, gain more control over the north. I don't know what it's going to be. I think that's fine. I suppose I could have deployed it here too, but I, I like, you know, using the mechs ready to go and move. All right, so you got quite a few workers going. Good for you. You're trading for some more oil, getting ready to do more of those upgrades. All right, so we do have enough oil to do an upgrade this way. And we also have some to do that. I guess the question is, would we rather upgrade slightly cheaper and double move someone, or to rather upgrade sort of the full oil price, but be able to boost our military and whatnot? I think the double move pays off better. I'm not concerned with sticking around in the factory right now. We got our bonus, which is good. I think I'm most eager with actually popping some of our, um, uh, words are hard. Um, some of our, um, our encounters. That's what I'm looking for. I think I'm going to do this. Uh, we could do a bolster, but no, I think we'll do the upgrade. We'll be ready to unlock this move over here. Hello. We're really going to want wood. How, how do I want to order this? Unless I do the move to just, like, get these guys over to the wood instead of moving my leader. Because before I take this move action, I would really like to have wood so we can build some buildings. But I'd also like to upgrade this first. An upgrade of it. Yeah, okay. We'll take this so that we can upgrade our movement card. Done. So we will pay... The one wood. And then one oil. And then we get to do some upgrades. And we are going to upgrade our movement card over here so that we can move three units instead of just one. Then we get to upgrade something at the bottom. Which we could go and upgrade this card here so that we only have to pay two oil. It's similar to other things. I, I don't know. I think we're going to use this to do our upgrading, which is going to be fine. I think what we'll do is we'll make the build cheaper. We haven't built a single building yet, and we are going to look forward to starting that soon. So we'll do that. And then, yeah, we're going to take the double move. Move one unit up to two times. I think I'm just going to take um, you and run you up somewhere. Either to this encounter, but I'm actually thinking about this one. I don't think this is an, an area we're going to really stick around in. So I'm wondering about just running over here and then picking it up and doing something. Um, I actually could go... Why don't I go over here? We can steal this metal. I mean, they might counterattack or something, but... We are going to lose a popularity for bopping this guy. But we get an encounter over here. Um, which can be used to get power. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm not going to pay popularity. To gain one upgrade in any two resources? Dang. Well, I need this because I need to make sure I have enough military power to maybe survive in a fight here. Create an alliance. Money and popularity. I have an extra upgrade. And two resources. That's good. But we need popularity to score in the end. And we have we have pretty cheap upgrade routes. I'm just going to do this. Done. 
All right. So this metal is now mine. <laughs> right now, because I control this tile, even though that person has a building over there. So um, I either want to spend it right away, or if we do a move, which actually I can do fairly well right now, I can take these resources with me. So your, um, your character can carry resource. I don't believe your character can carry workers. I think that's something a little different between a mech and this, but I'm pretty sure you can carry resources. So we'll just walk away. All right, you're doing things. Fast forward, come on. I want my turn. Okay, my turn. Uh, yeah, so we'll definitely do a move. I'm going to grab you. And yeah, you can't load people, but we can load this. Um, I can't reach there, unfortunately. It'd be nice. Again, well, that's a cost of popularity, but we can keep sort of screwing them up as well, which is really good. Um, I can't reach another encounter card. Why don't I actually just move here to the tundra and be ready to build a building here? It'd be adjacent to a couple of encounter tiles. At least for now. And then over here, I'm not worried about collecting oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load all the people and all the resources, and we're going to move to this wood tile. Because we've upgraded this, we just start need to start collecting wood so we can build some buildings. Uh, and I have enough metal. I have three mechs already. I only need to build one more. So we don't need to hang around in this mine at all. What I might do... Is just move to this wood and we'll be ready. We'll just trigger both of these woods. Oh, I can do this? I don't really need to carry people around with me. I hope I just lose one popularity for this. Not all of it. Thing is, he's already probably got his population. He probably doesn't care about it. And I'm going to probably move my leader into there next turn. Well, not next turn. Next turn is going to be produce, build, mech. If I build here, I can't take advantage of that um, encounter tile a second time. But I could do it here. I really want to pick a good place for a mill. And we're going to want to start recruit. Uh, we have a cheaper recruiting. But, I mean, we need some resources for something. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm kind of okay with moving here. And then probably calling that the end of the move for this guy. Yeah, that, that's fine. End move, and then... Oh yeah, we don't have enough wood. Okay. We'll produce resources next turn and build our mech. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Because he doesn't need to build more units right now. Alright, fast forward. We can upgrade the bolster card. Well, again, we got the, the cheap one here. I mean, we're still going to want to upgrade for lots of reasons. Do we want to do the cheap... No, we want to uh, produce right now, yeah? I mean, it'd be nice to upgrade the production card, too, but I think we can wait. This is going to cost me one power to do it, but that's okay. We're going to get tons of wood. And some food. And, yeah, we're going to build a mech. One, two, three going to be camaraderie, so we do not lose popularity when forcing a worker to retreat. Apparently I can't build it here. That's interesting. Really? Does it have to be where workers are, maybe? That could be. Um, I'll deploy you down here. So our mechs are a little spread out. The more units you commit to a battle, the more battle cards you get to add in. So fighting with multiple units does, in a sense, make you stronger, but it's not... It's not exactly the way you might foresee it. I don't have any stars yet, and some people do, but I think we're about to pop a bunch of those. Yeah, oh, and you stole that encounter. Well, I mean, stole. Yeah. Do I want to use this for a super move right now? I mean, I want to hit more encounters, that's true. I guess I could do it with a normal move. 
Uh, we have wood now, so I can build the building and everything. I think I'm going to leave that metal behind. I'm going to move you here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We can transport. Durr. Thank you for the notice. You instant retreat. All right. We are going to do this. We do lose popularity, by the way. You only don't lose popularity with camaraderie if there's an actual battle. Still, this really messes with them, and I think it's worth doing. Uh, we're going to leave you guys here for the wood for the buildings. Um, the food... Well, I mean, we'll leave you here. We do need to generate various resources. That's fine. What I might do is actually just sit in the factory. If someone wants to come and get a factory card... Oh, yeah, this is, the, this is our encounter from over here. Um, right there. If someone wants to get a factory card, they're going to have to fight me for it. Um, I cannot do this right now because I don't have the popularity. Although, if I were to gain some... Yeah, well, we're at zero. So, we'll, uh, we'll just take Befriend the Samurai from a faraway land. Money and popularity. Learn how to fight with Katana. Pay two to gain two power and two combat cards. Nice. And if, if we win a combat, which we haven't done yet, we can actually complete one of our uh, little goals here. We're going to build a building uh, using two wood. And what are we going to build first? Well, we might actually want to get a monument as quickly as possible to actually start accruing some freaking points. Um, which might be nice. Uh, building a tunnel here can let us deploy out of this area quickly. Armory is maybe least important. Um, the mill is kind of nice. It lets you produce in a tile. Um, even if you don't have someone... It's an extra produce, right? So normally we produce, we're produce. we currently producing two tiles. The, you can always produce in the mill tile for free, and it acts as a population by itself. But if you have workers there, it also does some more too. I mean, we only got the places where our workers are to produce things, so I guess that's going to be okay. I think I'll leave you here. It's a building. It's adjacent two spots. I mean, we'll want to build one there too. And that's okay. We can wait a little bit more on the popularity. Just get the uh, the resource production as early as possible. That's going to be good. Um, that was that whole tile. So we're now end turn. And this guy's going to be forced to move out a lot of stuff. To, to start taking advantage of it. I mean, maybe he's going to be fine with having his units there, but I don't know. All right, he's bolstering his power. Might be making a move onto the middle. I might want to have a second unit there so I can deploy two combat cards. We shall see. He's doing some upgrades. Fine, 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 fair. Okay, I am quite tempted to use this card over here for a um, possibly another upgrade. I'm, I'm tempted to start doing some bolster. Our neighbors, again, it's Saxony and uh, the Nords. The Nords don't have any resources right now. Saxony has three metal and might be planning on building a mech next. Um, is there any way to look at their action card to see what they did this turn? Because there's no way I remember it. Um, anyway, what it means, I might, might want to do a recruit on the build a mech action, for example, so that I get a coin when that happens. Or um, I might be want, want to be ready to, to cover the building thing so that I can start earning some popularity again. But no one's really got any wood um, for them to be likely to use that. Maybe it's better to just do an other upgrade first. I don't really need to upgrade bottom stuff anymore. I've got all my mechs. I've earned a, a star for having all four mechs. This is already upgraded. We are doing the bolster and upgrade three different ways. I mean, upgrading the top's pretty good. No, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, the recruit. Uh, yeah, we'll pay a food. And uh, not a wood. We still have metal? Yeah, and we have maximum mechs. So we don't need the metal anymore, which is going to be okay. Um, yeah, we'll get the popularity boost. And I'm going to take... Oh, every time you recruit someone, you get an immediate boost as well. I'm going to take plus two popularity immediately. We want to get up a little higher. So when you're looking at the scoring here, and your, your mul score multiplier goes up as your popularity, we really want to end the game at least 13 so we can get the maximum number of points from things. Plus, some of these encounters require us to spend popularity. Um, we can double move something. I don't think I need to move most of my units. I think what I'm going to do is I will, in fact, move my leader to do an encounter. This encounter is probably safe. Can I reach another encounter somewhere else and ninja it? Um, how about this one? I mean, he might be attacking. He's got a lot of troops. I'll go here. It's a little safer to this village, and we'll pop that encounter. 
whoom, flying across the board. As a hell, because I'm moving twice, I get to teleport through lakes and things. <sighs> okay. Offer to translate for locals and soldier. Gain oil, which isn't bad. And one, one popularity, which is nice. I could pay for to deploy a mech, which we don't have. Um, we could intentionally mistranslate to rile up the people and seize control of the oil refinery. I would lose popularity, but gain a worker and three oil. I literally, like... I'll take oil. That's fine. But yeah, I have all my mechs. I mean, I could just dismiss and not take anything else. Unlocking the worker will unlock the extra cost over here. Really, when I gain workers... Can I hide this? I want to gain three workers at the same time. The three oil is really nice. But I suspect next time we do a normal move, I'm going to take these dudes, move them all here, do a production afterwards to get my last three workers in one action. I think I'm just going to dismiss the rest. I'm not the keenest on there, but yeah, it's, it's going to have to be the way it's going to have to be. All right, well, fast forward through these turns because I want to make sure we can finish the game relatively soon here. I'll, uh, I'll go for another round in this video, I think. Maybe two. And then try to finish next episode here. Boom, 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 boom. They're getting all their recruit bonuses, which we're not getting to take advantage of yet. Uh, I was saying I was going to do a move next, right? And yeah, I think that's definitely what has to happen here. So we're going to move some units. I am going to move over here to get another... Oh, no, we'll take our resources with us and do this. I might get attacked. It's not the end of the world. Losing in combat isn't a huge deal, although I'll lose the oil. Um, I could reinforce, but I want to take these guys. Um, I'll grab everyone. Actually, I can leave the resources behind. Because there's a building here, I'll keep control over this tile. So we won't have to worry about moving out after. I will bring the three people over to this village so that we can do a production over here um, and get stuff. I can keep moving with this mech. Um, I don't feel I need to keep it in this... Well, I will want to move these guys. And it'll be more efficient to do it in a single move. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll leave you there. That's fine. And then there's no reason for you to hang out over here. can't jump on anyone vulnerable, unfortunately. Be great to reinforce over here. We might just get ready. Um, I'll move here and be ready to counterattack into here or something like that. And as long as you're in a lake, I can I can go basically everywhere very easily. So here's an encounter. Hey, we got an achievement for adventurer. Probably for doing three encounters or something in one game. Something like that. Gain popularity. Pay two to gain any three resources. Pay three to gain any five. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. We'll easily take the two popularity and pay two for any three resources. Um, they will be in this tile, which is kind of annoying and, again, makes us vulnerable. Um, in terms of resources, uh, we're very flexible with what we do, right? We don't need there's, we don't need oil, metal, or, or food for any reason whatsoever. We want a variety of stuff. Um, we might want one metal just to make it easy to multiply these things. But overall, I think if we just go and grab wood wood maybe i'll grab one food just to make it possible to, for us to use this ability a little more efficiently more often but i'm worried about the situation um oh yeah with the wood actually maybe i should have gone all wood if i go back i can repeat this because i'm going to spend some wood right away but i'll still have one left over hang on oh is that undoing literally my entire turn Wait, but I already know what the adventure will be. That seems a little cheaty. Is it going to be the same card? Because I wanted to do the same thing. I just wanted to change uh, what resources I took. Okay, well, you're going to go... Uh... I suppose I could not bring the resources with me. No, no, and we'll do this anyway. Uh, you're doing that. You're loading all the people, but leaving the resources and doing this. And then sticking around so that you're ready to transport these guys next turn. And you are just going to go here. Okay. That's the end of our move. We get this. Yeah, okay. The same thing. Take a ride on a ferry as the wind tussles your long flowing hair. <laughs> I love the flavor text here. 
Look how lovely this is too. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll just grab wood because we're going to be spending it right away. And this gives us enough wood that we could do two building actions, which is good because we're not producing wood over here anymore. So we're going to do this. We're going to build. I'm going to take the wood that's over here just in case we lose this tile. Then we lose less. Um, and we are going to go ahead and build the monument. Oh, yeah. Uh, here, it's going to be adjacent to two encounter tiles. we got to make sure to defend this tile to a certain extent, but that's going to be okay. All right. End turn. Uh, so he's still busy moving these guys. So the fact that we bopped them, I think, may have really screwed up this uh, the Nord's uh, tactics. We'll have to take a look at the victory point screen in a second to see what our situation is. We went fast forward to this, and yeah, I think we'll do one more. Oh! There's going to be a fight going on here. So we are being attacked. Where? Oh, in the... In the factory? Where? Oh, here. Mech versus mech. All right, so let's talk about this. We're being attacked. This is the defender. When you are in a fight, you can contribute. So this is your military power. You can contribute up to seven military power to a fight. Fortunately, we only have four. In addition to that, you can play one card for each unit you have in there. We have one defender. So the most you can possibly do is nine points. He can play up to 12. Now, he might not. This is all hidden. We don't know how much he's going to spend. I would like... Well... Worst case scenario, if we lose here, like, our mech and two of our workers get sent back home. We also will potentially lose his food. He might spend it right away or might not. We won't have good control over this tile right away. But we'll be able to, like, fight back and probably kick his ass immediately. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend one. If you lose a fight, but you've contributed at least one power to it, you get to draw another combat card. So I'm going to spend exactly one to do that. And as expected, he's going to spend quite a lot of power. He played a five-point card, and he's spending a lot of power. Um, we could have beaten him if I'd gone... No, wait, nine was my max, right? And the attacker wins ties, so he just spent enough to do that. We will get the combat card, please, and thank you. But I think we're in a really good opportunity to counterattack this punk and gain one victory star, which will, should also allow us to complete this. Eight or more combat cards, we currently do, although we're going to maybe spend one. But that's okay, we get some more later. The important thing is to have a combat success. Oh, we can't move again. Right, well, I can move here. He spent some points. I might be able to just kick his ass. I'd like to get out of here. I'm worried about losing this tile. We could spend some of the resources or, you know, carry it away with us. That's fine. I would love to upgrade a production card. And I don't think any of the bottoms really need to be upgraded. Although, again, six upgrades and locks of star, which is good. I might just be able to crush him if I just move in there with just one character. We could try. Um, how much power does he have? So this is the rest of yet over here. Oh, they still have 14 power. They actually maxed that at some point. So he's still going to be able to spend seven power plus a card. Um, and likely that means we can't guarantee a win. We need to move two units in. And we can't do that this turn. I still want to, might, want, might want to move out here. We've got a lot of mechs that should be able to come in because of the lakes and then movement. Because you should be able to go lake to lake and then end up there, and that would be it, actually. You can't even cross directly in there. I don't think we actually can counterattack very easily. Okay. I'm going to do a recruit because we want to keep filling out the bottom. Uh, so we'll spend uh, one oil and one wood and uh, we need to make sure to maintain enough military cards um, but also power so our two neighbors what are they likely to spend wood and that's really it I already have the building one Oh, food. Yeah, I don't think it really matters which one I grab right now. Um, but we can grab some more military power. I can also get enough cards to make sure I'm over the limit. But I'll take the military power, actually, for now. That's going to be okay. And then, yeah, a double move. I think I still need to get this guy, my leader, out of here. I can reach this encounter tile. 
We actually never pop this encounter either. You know, let's just do this. Actually, you might be... If I do this one, I'll be next to a lake. It's going to be a lot easier to move out um, to other destinations after. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We want to bring everything. Sorry. Teleport over there. Encounter. Big battle. Clear up the route of trees after the battle is over. We gain wooden popularity. We can spend money for popularity. Or we could look at an opponent's combat cards. No, no. We're going to go ahead and do... Um, take some wood. And gain some more popularity. We're at 11 now, which is wonderful. Very good. We need to get some stars soon. Are we being attacked again? Son of a... Alright. Again, I'll spend one. Why oh, you attack me over there? Okay, you spent a lot. This is the rust vehicle. Like, yeah, we'll take a combat card. Okay, we, we gotta bring some pain over there. Thing is, that's adjacent to a lake. We've got someone in a lake over here. Alright, if we do a move... You can reach there. And you can reach there as well. Um, we need to do a produce. We need to leave these guys here for now. What about the city? I... Actually, what about over here? Oh, you can do this? Sweet. Uh, I can't transport the people out of here, though. I mean, I'll have to move this mech at some point. But yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to grab... Um... I guess we have a whole other move. So now it's two people, so we'd be able to play two cards... You know what? I can't hit another event anyway. Screw it. Because I still don't have a lot of military power, so I'm really going to have to play the cards to make sure we win this one. Okay, go for combat. They can do up to four, up to 12. If I do this and this... Well, I might not want to use all the top ones. I can do that. And do this. Because I will win ties. I'm going to win this one. No matter what he does. He might just spend one token one. No, actually, he... He spent 11. So we could have just gone for 11, and that would have been fine. We don't know what kind of cards he had. 12 is if he had a 5-point card. The 4 is probably the best he had, but we didn't know that for sure. That's why looking at someone else's cards is pretty powerful. So they're going to get their ass kicked, and they have to retreat home. Uh, we have some wood. We can pay to build a building. Let's get the wood out of there. And uh, just one building left, which is the armory. Um... Right. We're not necessarily playing to our best adjacencies for events here. But that's okay. We're going to build it there anyway, which is fine. So the armory is whenever you use a trade action, gain a power. We may not do any more trade at all anymore, but we finished all four buildings, which means we get another star. Excellent. End turn. So now we don't even really care about wood anymore. We care about some resources because at the end of the game, well, assuming we're sitting at 13 popularity like we are now, each resource or every two resource we have at the game at the end of the game will be worth three victory points. So there's value in still getting tons and tons of crap. Plus, um, we haven't uh, we haven't done all of our recruit yet, and we haven't gotten our star out of upgrading either. Even though uh, the upgrades maybe not quite as needed, we have to max out our population soon, which is. Our next produce phase. And actually, that might be what we do on our turn. We can produce. We're not going to be able to another mech anyway. Although, we might want to upgrade this produce before we do it. I strongly suspect that's exactly what's going to happen. If we can get two more combat cards, then we can complete our objective as well. We might be able to do that with just getting an encounter. Um, we could also use this action, especially if it gets upgraded. What I think I'm going to do is I think we're going to go ahead and get ourselves another recruit so we can keep getting some passive points. And I'm going to double move my leader over somewhere. Um, yeah, we can yeah, just spend both of these. That's going to be fine. And we'll deploy, uh, we'll deploy the enlist for the card over here. We're going to take the combat cards for now as well. That actually puts us at 8, which means, oh, we can achieve Tactical Mastery. Um, oh, interesting. This one doesn't actually require it to be at the end of your turn. 
doesn't really make a difference either way, but there you go. That way, if we get into a fight, we'll all, we'll have already spent it, which is good. So that's another star, which is nice. And then, yeah, we've got the, the double move, which... I think we just go and hit another encounter, get some more resources, maybe some popularity. I don't know. I mean, we don't really need to. What else would we move? I mean, we could, you know, load the people onto the mech and do some... I don't know. I like it. We get stuff. It's cool. And then into the water. There we go. Teleport over, please. Uh, ooh, creepy art. Man, I love it. Uh, salvage guns from a secret underground facility. Get two power and a popularity. And we can spend $2 to gain power. That's good. And we're not going to pay popularity here. Although, again, it's super strong. You know, we actually... The game's not about to end. Uh, yeah, it's very unlikely that it's about to end. We can probably get back up to the popularity fairly easily through passive things. I think we are going to spend this. Because it's only one upgrade. I would like to upgrade the production. Oh, yeah, it's a full thing. Oh, awesome. Um, whatever. I don't know. Like, done. And then some resources over here. And for resources, and we mostly just want to keep like a mix of things so we're ready to do stuff. Um, because we keep using this ability to do it. Uh, we might... Are we going to do a trade? Probably not. What else might we do? We have all our buildings. Like literally the only thing we haven't finished are the upgrades and the bolsters. There's a chance at some point we might end up... Well, I'm less interested in this. Although this does give us popularity. So does this if we spend coin. And we are missing one of those. Ah! All right. Hang on. What did I do? Oh, no, it is one upgrade. Okay. I don't know. I'm misinterpreting something. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just very confused about everything. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to grab some food. Um, and we are going to gain the free power and popularity over here. Sorry, I was very confused about something, clearly. We'll end turn. And we're gonna... Oh, wow, yeah. I'm definitely gonna put a cut in here. I think I went one extra turn than I intended to. Next episode might end up being slightly shorter than my normal target, but I think that's going to be okay. And I will also... How are we currently scoring? Right now, we do have more points, in large part because we have... Uh, we, actually, even one more point of popularity would increase this a lot. We want to end this game as quickly as possible, if we can, on our next turn. We can still get stars for upgrades. Wait, we only have two? That doesn't sound right. Maybe it is. Okay, we want to power through more upgrades. Uh, we are still missing a building. We are still missing a recruit. Those will be two more stars. We can get another star from a battle. Oh, and maxing out our population. Uh, so we should be able to end this fairly quickly, I think. We will wrap up this video. And next episode, we will see if we can pull off the victory against this hard AI. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.